Hi guys, it's Hannah, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here then I post a video every Friday and my video is either about gymnastics, fitness or lifestyle. So at the moment I am once again injured. I've injured my ankle three times in the past year and a half. So I've injured it pretty recently. It's so annoying. I was thinking about it and I was like, Probably a lot of you guys might be injured at the moment as well, or you've had injuries in the past, or you might have some in the future. So I thought I'd make a video of things that you can do whilst you're injured and things that you shouldn't do whilst you're injured. So these are things to keep you occupied without making the injury worse. Obviously I'm going to be relating this video to gymnastics, but this can also work for many other sports as well. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So number one is to catch up on things that you never have time to do. Because I'm injured, I can't go to any of my gymnastics classes, I can't do any of my other sports, things like that. So I'm at home a lot of the time. Actually getting things done that you've been meaning to do for ages, something you've started and haven't finished. Number two is to start a journal. So I've been writing a journal for the past like four years, so every day of my life, I'll write about that day, how I felt, what I did. But I feel like whilst you're injured, it's really important to keep doing this. And even though you might not be doing loads in the day, you can still write about like how you're feeling in the day and things like that. And it can be quite therapeutic. And it's also a sitting down activity. So unless you hurt your writing hand, wrist or something, you can do this. The next one, especially if you are a gymnast, is to continue stretching and conditioning. Obviously, because I've hurt my ankle, I can't really do any leg workouts because it's just going to make it worse. But I can still do my arms, I can do my abs, and I can pretty much stretch my whole body. So carrying on with those is really important. It's so good to keep moving your body so you don't become stiff. Also, I've been going to like stretch classes. They have classes, and I had a look, and they have an hour of stretching. So I've just been going to that. So have a look if you're, any of your local sports centres have a stretching class. You might be able to do lattes, yoga, stuff like that which don't put too much pressure. And a lot of the time they will adapt exercises. This will help keep up your strength, your flexibility. Number four is to find a new hobby. And I'm not saying completely forget about your gymnastics, whatever you enjoy doing and move on to something else. I don't mean that. I mean, whilst you're injured, you can't do what you love. So find something else that you like as well. Rest in that because then when you're better, you'll be able to do more things. Your skills are gonna be so versatile. So I've actually started knitting and I never ever thought I would knit in my life, like ever. I thought of knitting and instantly I thought of old grannies, but it is so fun and really therapeutic and productive as well. So I really enjoyed that, but there's so many different things you can do. Just choose something that you've never tried before and you might find that you really like it. Number five is kind of like if you've tried to do new hobbies and you're still constantly thinking about the thing you love. I'm gonna give the example of gymnastics. I'm knitting away and I'm thinking, oh, I feel like I'm not progressing at all in gymnastics. How am I, I'm gonna be so bad when I go back and stuff like that. What you can do is research and read about your interests. So you can look up techniques, different workouts, things that are gonna help you towards your gymnastics goals. Obviously you can't actually physically do those things yet, but you can read about it so that when you can go back to it, you're very knowledgeable. Number six is to keep yourself busy. Don't just sit there in a circle all day because you're just going to be more miserable. It's very easy to do, by the way, I've been there. So meet up with your friends and family. Like, whilst you're injured, you can still sit and have a coffee with someone. Even if you can't get there, they might be able to come to your house. And just the company is really helpful. If you've got friends and family that live with you, help them with tasks that they have to do. I helped my sister with some of her photography homework the other day, and I really enjoyed it because it just kept my brain going. Number seven, and this is probably the most important one, is focus on your injury recovery. If you've gone to a physio and they've asked you to do certain exercises, they've asked you not to do certain things, really stick to that. The more you do that, the sooner you'll be back doing what you love. Make sure you are icing it, you're elevating it, whatever you've been told to do. So moving on to things that you should not do whilst you're injured. So number one, this might seem obvious, but it's really hard not to do. Don't stress the injury, put pressure on the injury, or go back to your sport too soon. So if you love a sport, like I love gymnastics, you'll know it's really difficult not to do it. So I think when I first injured my ankle, I went back to gymnastics way too soon and my foot was not ready. This is just gonna make your recovery time longer. If you've been told not to do sport for a certain amount of weeks, then just try not to do it. I know it's really hard though. Number two, don't watch old videos of yourself 
doing the sport that you can't do at the moment. <laughs> it's like torture. Yep, I've done that and it was a really bad mistake. I watched some gymnastics videos and it just made me really upset. Just, just don't watch them for now. Go back to them once you can do the skills again because it's not nice like watching something that you can't do at the moment. So just try and put yourself through that. Number three is don't not have any plans for the day so basically make plans if you don't have any plans you're going to be so bored and just be thinking about the injury and all the things you can't do so i suggest making a to-do list the night before and you can just think about that it keeps your brain occupied keeps you busy without actually going and doing the things you would normally do Number four, this is really important to not do. Don't keep saying to yourself, oh, the injury wouldn't have happened if, blah, blah, blah. Because although we all think like that, it's just not gonna help you because it's happened, so you can't do anything about it now. So when I hurt my ankle the third time, I was on a trampoline, and so it was at adult gymnastics. I normally wouldn't have gone there that day, and I decided to, and I hurt myself. So I was constantly thinking, oh, I so nearly didn't go, oh I was on the bars, I so nearly didn't go on the trampoline, stuff like that, if I just lifted my feet up, you just can't think like that because there's nothing you can do about it now and it's so annoying, it's really hard not to think like that, but don't do it. Because at the time, how were you supposed to know that it was going to happen? You weren't, you had no clue. Number five is to not stop having fresh air. So I didn't realise I was doing this, but normally when my ankle was fine, I was going on really long dog walks and stuff and I was getting a lot of fresh air. Obviously now I can't really go on walks. There's no reason to go outside. But it's so important to still get fresh air, even if you're just sitting there or just stretching outside, making sure at least one thing you do a day is outside. It can really help. Number six, the last thing not to do whilst you're injured is don't stop moving your body altogether. Obviously you can't really move the place that's injured, but everything else still works. So move your body, do exercises that you can do, and you can still progress. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you are injured like me, you found it useful, and have some ideas of what to do and what not to do. If you have any more video ideas you'd like me to post on YouTube, then please DM me on either of my Instagrams, and if I use your video idea, I'll give you a shout out in the video, and follow you back on Instagram. I hope you guys have a lovely week, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye.